Okay, welcome back. It's again, it's another horrible day in Gibraltar. Today is the 30th of January. Got horrible weather today. I've just checked the Met. Um, the wind is 090 at 24 knots, gusting 34, and it's raining. QF, QNH is 1025, which we've got set here on our altimeter, which is going to read up here, it's saying 17 feet above sea level, which this one is pretty much at sea level. Now it's a horrible day, we wouldn't normally be flying on a day like this, um, but the simulator is a good place to practice. The two things that are going to mess me up as a pilot are wind and visibility. Um, that's going to ruin my day potentially. So let's get off and see what we can do. We're looking at our airspeed in the top left hand corner of the heads up display. We're now doing 105, 106. This aeroplane is going to take off about 140 knots, so we're going to start pulling back on the stick now. And that should launch us into the sky. There we go. Gear up. Oh, big gust there took me off to the uh, right slightly. Reduce the power now. When it's gusting, you can unpredictable things can just happen, just like that. Just come out of the blue and send your heads over. Tit. Right. So as you can see, we've got reduced visibility. We're at 700 feet now over the sea in rain. We've got to navigate this aircraft around. We've got to take it from where we took off to where we want to go. And we've got to land it again safely. The weather is a very important issue when you're flying. It doesn't matter what you're flying, a little plane, a big plane, or something in between. Weather is a very, very important consideration. And the two things, as I said earlier, that are going to mess you up, one's the wind and the other's the visibility. So if you can't see where you're going, how are you going to get there? How are you going to navigate? Oh dear, it's all gone dark. Okay, so we disappeared into a cloud about 2,000 feet, just under. There we go, 1,800. So we'll run along just below the cloud. Gibraltar should be off to my right hmm come past it still precipitating you can see it all whizzing past the windows there Coming round onto a heading 270. Trying to keep as high as I can, but not going into cloud. Two four two five. Keep turning sixteen hundred feet. Two six two seven zero. That's west. Okay. Now I try to fly with uh, real weather conditions. It, modern flight simulators can do this. They can check on the weather on the internet, and they can refresh the weather every fifteen minutes or so. When you're learning to fly, when you're beginning, I recommend you turn it off. Just fly on a nice day with no wind. It's much easier. And then when you get the hang of the aircraft and you uh, get good at handling it, put the weather back on. But try and put it on 
real-time weather conditions because that's more realistic, isn't it? And uh, if it's too windy, you'll see what happens to you. <laughs> and you'll learn from that experience. And hopefully you won't do it in the real thing. Okay, we're going to slow the aircraft down now. Going to head on north up the Bay of Gibraltar. Slipping into that cloud again. The right rudder there. Just to bring me out of it. 3-3. Three, three. And of course, cloud can just take you by surprise. It can just start appearing quite unpredictably. Coming up to north. And Gibraltar just there. And that's Spain on the other side. Twelve hundred feet. We're ready to turn now, I think. Yep, there's the runway. And we're going to try and maintain visual. <laughs> Unless we uh, mess it up and go into cloud again. Bit of right rod, we should drop out of that. There we go. It's very easily done. Okay. 1500 feet level with the top of the rock there, there's the uh, runway lights, it's real time, real weather. Okay, throttle back, trim, one stage of flaps, 289 knots, can't lower the gear until we get to 140, air brakes extended. One forty knots gear down. Air brakes are white. Overcut that a little bit. Okay, my touchdown speed. I want about one hundred and seventy knots today. I'm at three hundred feet. Another stage of flaps. So we're on the ground. Air brakes extended. We would be reversing thrust at this stage, but my reverse thrusters don't work. So I'm just relying heavily on the brakes <laughs> and the air brakes, and of course, full flaps. And that should bring us to a halt.
Okay. We can shut this bird down. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Switch everything off. So you can fly on bad weather days if you know what you're doing. It actually took me three weeks to learn to fly the tornado properly. And I'm still learning. <laughs> but there we go. One thing I love about flight simulators is you get to get your hands on aeroplanes that you'd have no chance in real life of getting your hands on. Thanks for watching.